Hello, I'm Michelle Rakoff, and I'm here to walk you through step two of the Quantcast Choice customization process. This step is where you tailor the look and feel the consumer will see on your site. You can leave the default values for all fields or enter your own value to customize branding. Note, when you enter values, the mockups below will update with a preview. If you don't know the hex value, you can always Google hex color and find a helpful tool that converts regular RGB values for you. You'll see if I input a color for this first call to action button, the preview updates and reflects how the final product will look. For this demo, I'll use the default color values. Note, this toggle button is just the on-off switch within the tool. You can use different colors to highlight if the toggle is selected or not. The next step allows you to display the consumer modal in the middle or the bottom of the screen. Next, you can customize the language you use with consumers. We've provided some templated language that are available for this initial screen. In addition, you can edit the buttons and the language used on these call to action buttons. The next step allows you the option to choose if the reject button is visible. We're giving you the option to decide based on what is right for your company. The next screen is the privacy settings section. This is the next level of detail that consumers will see if they click on the show purposes button. You can fully edit and adjust the language on this screen to fit your brand. If the consumer wants to see even more detail, they can click the see full vendor list to see the next level of detail. Again, all of these fields are available to edit. The final step is to enter your contact information and accept the terms of service. Once completed, the customized code is automatically generated, and from here you can copy this code and place it in the header of your website or any tag manager. One final step you may want to take is to set up a custom vendor list, which takes the form of the pubvendor.json file. For more details on how to set that up, please look for the technical implementation guide on quantcast.com help. If you have questions that aren't already covered in our help center, documentation, please contact us at support at quantcast.com. Thank you.